Some new glassware arrived in the mail today and I gobbled this one up. It's a socks lead extractor filled with coffee. There's a filter and a Allen condenser to cool down the water. And here's uh, 250 milliliters of regular spring water. And coffee amount there is 15 milligrams. 15 grams. There is an ice bath with an electric pump and it circulates the water in the condenser, cooling it down. And everything is naturally controlled with an Arduino. The pump and the hot plate are both controlled with relays by Arduino. Let's put them on. Okay, the hot plate is now heating. Water from the flask uh, vaporizes and the steam goes through this tube here and tries to escape through the cooler. It condenses because of the cold water and drips down back to the coffee. When the liquid level here rises to the height of the siphon arm here, it will empty out the contents of here and in back to the flask where it starts to vaporize again and the whole cycle repeats itself. Here you can see one cycle of the Soxlet extractor where it dumps its contents to the boiling flask. I got the idea from Neil Red's YouTube video where he was extracting capsaicinoids from chili peppers and he was using a Soxlet extractor and I figured that it would make a kick-ass coffee maker as it can extract the caffeine and all the flavors from the coffee with a lower temperature so it doesn't make the coffee bitter. Here is a time lapse of the cavity being filled up with water and then in real time when it dumps all the contents in the into the boiling flask. So I have a freshly made cup of coffee here. Smells like really strong coffee. Tastes like it too. It's a light roast Arabica coffee. So you can actually taste some like flavors from it. It's really good cup of coffee but totally not worth the effort. It took like one and a half hours to make one cup. And I used a one kilowatt stove to do that so it was on like half the time so that's what eight cents worth of electric power alone to make one cup no that doesn't make any sense but it's a good coffee though maybe the breaking bad had some good idea i let it run for like three loops so the coffee was filtered three times after that, the outcoming liquid started coming out almost clear. But judging by the taste, it could have gone fourth time. It wouldn't be bad at all. Okay, so I added a tiny little drop of uh, whole milk. Let's see if you can see the color without me pouring it on my keyboard. Oh, that's the laser burns on the CCD. Never point the laser pointer at your camera. Tastes like one of those four or five euro cups of coffee. It's almost like it's made with espresso. I don't see much flat fat floating around here. Usually if I make a coffee with mocha master, there's a thin layer 
thin film of like fat on top of the liquid. Not here. That was good. That was that was really good coffee. Second. Oh shit! Somebody has to clean that up. 